Hello. I recently purchased this ABUS lock and after setting the new combination using the procedure provided on the package, I was unable to open the lock using the new combination. I tried using the default code 0000, but that did not work either. I also tried all the possible combinations that were one number off for each dial, but none of them worked. I called Abbas and they said I may have had one of the dials not set to the tent exactly and so the lock would be ruined. I used a shim that I made from some 8 thou feeler gauge and got the lock open. So this is the little combination or the little feeler gauge I got and just to show you how this works it just goes in on this side over here you see it's pretty thin and you can see if it sticks it up there you just have to get it just underneath Here. Oops. Just underneath there and lift up a little bit and the lock will pop open. I also found that the lock, even though it's set on the code 000 right now, if you get a little tap like that, it would open up. So there was something sticking right here in this little piece of um, release there. So I've decided to take and cut this bottom part open in here, around here, so I can take these innards out and take a look at why this is sticking right in this area here on this hasp release right there. Well I now have the lock apart and I thought I'd show you a few things before I continued on with some other stuff here. First off, I had to cut it apart a lot because they put this little pin in here right after they've manufactured it and I hadn't noticed it before but if you look really really carefully there you can see there's a little tiny thing so they drive this pin afterwards to lock the innards in place so it wasn't that easy to take just the end off I had to kind of cut it all apart to get that all all done there now this part here so the way that this lock works, oops, oops, lost the, sorry about that. If you can look here, you can see the little flat bars that line up to allow this thing to drop down fully to release that to release those chucks there when it's on the right number and so I did have the wrong combination when I uh, did it originally because this ended up the correct combination was 2042 and I had not set that so I made a mistake when I was doing the coding and you have to realize that once you do get the correct coding this pin here can be pushed in all the way past that little stop there which then allows you to turn your wheels and set the new combination on the thing. So I hope that helps. Take a look at the inner workings of this thing. Thanks very much for watching.